everybody welcome back to my channel it's eva from bohemian crafting today i'm coming to share with you a new collection for some moving card uh, i try to create something for halloween and uh, even in my head my idea was brilliant in the end after a few tryings and few swaps of images and <laughs> kind of like labor of ideas how to create it the wonderful way uh, I wasn't actually happy with what I have created uh, I wasn't kind of like it wasn't the thing I wanted so I sat down and I went through to all my images again and I went through to all ideas I had in my head again and I came up with something a little bit different how I can make it work this was my first uh, prototype and this is what I have actually ended up with. This is my card for this year Halloween a moving moving thingy. It does have magnet here so it's holding nicely. And I do have witch which is moving the moon, which is hiding the moon, stealing the moon. Look at her. So this design <laughs> is actually what makes me happy that, yay, finally, it's something where I don't have to, you know. <laughs> I think I was disappointed, disappointed that I had to move the circle to have there some movement. This one was much, uh, much more fun to create, also uh, much harder to think it through and think on all possibilities and all... Uh, proper placement of everything like the hall and these two slots and everything to make it work that here I will have uh, also beautiful image that it will be not plain so and here she will be standing front of the gate but here she will be not in the gate so that was kind of like a big labor and I'm so proud I made this card and I'm, I hope that you will like it hopefully and you will enjoy to create it. This card is already on my Patreon for all my Patreons. And uh, and it's also... <laughs> no, oh my, my brain, brain freeze. It's also on my Etsy for sale now. So for those who are interested, thank you so much for supporting me even this way. It's a huge help, guys. It's a really huge help when you are buying my digitals. Uh, it keeps... The possibility for me to create you know that it gives me that possibility to create to have a chance to create to continue with what i like to do so thank you so much guys for supporting me even more with buying my stuff i i appreciate it so much so for those who will go and buy my little collection uh, it's already on my etsy there will be uh, included this uh, cute little invitation for Halloween bash and I think it's really cute and uh, I really love it how it turns out so there is pocket behind and there is this gill I did print out my papers on inject printer there are these four sheets I did print out my papers on 200 GSM paper. Unfortunately, it's paper. I did make mistake. Uh, I didn't realize when it's uh, advertised like a paper, it will be paper. It's not cardstock. This is 250 GSM cardstock. Can you hear that sound? It's nicely beautiful, crispy cardstock. This is paper and it's too soft. So I will have to reinforce my card in the points here, in this, where the, the wall is. And also, um, I'm going to show you here. Here between, uh, to make it strong so she can move nicely. Uh, because it was too soft, so I had to reinforce it. 
So uh, try to find uh, in your stuff some nice uh, cardstock which will hold properly, which will be not too softy like this one. Here you can see it's too softy. <laughs> so make sure you will have cardstock, not paper. So I did print out on 200 GSM paper, inject printer, and I do have these for images. The backside print, it's from last year Halloween. That was uh, my sharing last year, free digital collection and also free full tutorial for Halloween folio. It's still on my, uh, on my YouTube channel, last year Halloween folio. Uh, you will find those links in that tutorial for free Halloween collection with background papers, few beautiful background papers and also few embellishments. I totally forgot I do have that collection and I found it when I was making this collection uh, and this was a big help because those papers are going together really nicely. This is also from that collection. So go to have a look. It's a last year Halloween a folio. There is full collection of background papers which I did use here to print that background. And yeah, that's I think the most basics and uh, everything else I will say through to that tutorial. I hope you will enjoy it and I hope you will go to craft with me and prepare with me these cute little Halloween cards. So come to craft with me. Four sheets with images like this. So I'm gonna fussy cut them out. I'm gonna show you where to pay attention on the bits and pieces like here this white should be fussy cut out and here we do have two lines these should be cut out as well cut through and make these slots i do have everything fussy cut out the best way how to easy way fussy cut out these tabs it's uh, fussy cut out around all around of the top then fold it half and then these edges as if you will fold it half these edges are similar so you will cut uh, both sides at once and they will be similar so it's the most easy way how to fussy cut out these so i do have two tabs and as I did, uh, you know, that back print, so <laughs> you do, I can choose <laughs> which way I want to use it. If this one, or this one, or these prints. <laughs> then I do have this pumpkin. I didn't fussy cut out between, so now I can glue it together and it will be reinforced. It will be like both sided. Or I can keep it open, but it's impossible to write down something here, so I'm going to glue it together. Then I do have the moon. I do have these two strips. They, they will be for moving the witch. I do have the girl, the witch. This one and this one. This uh, makes the magic. So here I can place the moon if I will want. So I think I'm going to glue it there straight away. Uh, this is kind of like your own choice if you want to have there the moon. That she's kind of moving the moon or you want to have there without the moon i'm gonna show you what she will do so this is this girl and once we will open it she's moving so here it's your choice if she will be moving just like this or she will hold the moon and this will be covered covered with the with the print i did this one too small so it will be hidden and she will hold the moon like this so it's your choice if you want her to hold the moon just glue it to her hand which i'm gonna do like this and i'm gonna let it dry then i do have these two cards here, this smaller one can be placed on the top, here or here. So I'm thinking I'm going to place it on this card straight away. And I'm 
I'm gonna glue this straight away so it does have a time to dry before I will do anything else. Now these I'm gonna prepare also straight away. Uh, you should fold all these lines. So always between colors here, here, here and here. Same on this one. This will be your holding thingy for the witch when she's moving. So I'm gonna fold it this way, this way. And then those edges. I'm gonna fold them kind of like to that fold. To the here. Like this, so I do have folded all these folds. Now I'm gonna put the glue on the middle and I'm gonna fold this one down and this opposite one down and glue it to the bottom. And these ends can be open like this. Do not glue these ends, glue just the middle part these folded parts and do same with that opposite uh, with that uh, next one i do have my two little hinges so now i can start to put the images together i'm gonna be starting with actually with this one first uh, with this uh, <coughs> where are those two slots and the, the hole and i'm gonna take one of these gates the one without the witch and I need to fold it right between the solid color and the pattern. I'm gonna use my ruler. And oh, just to score it. And I'm gonna fold it this way. Here I'm gonna actually have a look. So I am aware that the, uh, it's good to have some, uh, some patterned paper in the background because now you can measure this is uh, longer i left it longer so now i can measure that i need to cut it with this black line and that's this one otherwise it will be too long and it will go to my slots so my beautiful uh, sheet now this gate and gate goes this way and here to the corner and i'm just gonna glue it here So then I can open it this way and I can see the gate and I can see this beautiful picture. Now I'm gonna get up this second one. And I'm gonna score it here between images again. Between solid color and image. And fold it there. And I can make mark. Uh, I'm gonna be gluing this together with this one here you have also option to put their magnet so then uh, all card will be magnetic and it will, will hold uh, nicely closed so maybe it will be good idea uh, to show you how you can put inside magnets so I have two magnets I'm gonna place one from this side And I'm gonna secure it just with piece of tape. And I'm gonna grab another one and place it from this side. And just 
drop it down it will immediately you know uh, match with that first one and again i'm gonna uh, secure it with the tape it's very easy to do it this way so now my card will be magnetic <laughs> so this will be glued together with this gate and I uh, have the fold here this part have to be reinforced uh, it has to hold together I'm gonna show you the front of the image so I will have matched that gate with this front one and kind of this wall have to be reinforced I can take any kind of cardstock, uh, some nice, uh, strong and not uh, too soft, like this. And I'm going to reinforce with this piece of cardstock that <coughs> card. If you did print out on some nice heavy cardstock, something like this, you don't have to do it. The card will hold properly, but this is... This is too soft. I made a mistake when I bought these. These are papers, not cards. So I'm going to place it right here. It will reinforce uh, that part. And now I can glue this gate on that bottom one. So I'm going to put the glue here. And now I'm going to glue these two images together. Here, corner to con corner, and here on the top, these top pieces together nicely, place it together, So now I'm going to open it and I'm going to place one of these hinges here and slide it to that side and another hinge here slide it to the end here I'm going to close it so they will don't fall out now I can flip it over. Ah, oh, it's good to have there, you know, <laughs> the magnet. Now I'm going to open these. These ends. We do have that, that print, so it's <laughs> kind of invisible. I hope you can see that. And I'm going to take this piece. And uh, I'm going to glue it this way corner to corner here so I'm gonna put the glue here on those hinges on those open hinges I'm gonna lift it up in midi immediately just bear with me so you will be able to see better so I do have opened those hinges I put their glue and now facing down this image and I'm going to place this corner to the corner here. And just lay it down. I need to make sure that this will be able to fold over. Now you can put the glue here and glue it all the way like this and let this dry let this dry properly uh, meanwhile this is drying i'm gonna grab this large piece i already pre-folded all folds so here between here between images and here this one so first I'm going to glue it together and make a pocket like this. This will be folded here at the front. And this will hold our pocket inside. So there glue. I'm going to also put the glue here on the bottom. 
and I'm gonna just place this down and let this dry and here with this hinge it's same like with that hinge before on this side I'm gonna measure how far I can go with this hinge it will be glued here and I don't wanna go to those slots here and here so I'm gonna measure it's one centimeter gonna make a mark one centimeter one centimeter I should make this shorter but I was thinking you know uh, cut it I can always cut it shorter but if I will need for some reason to need to extend it make it longer I will don't have that chance <laughs> I left it longer I'm gonna cut it to the size which can fit into there So one centimeter guys here this one and i'm guessing that other one is the same i'm gonna place the glue here on the fold and glue it that way and here corner to corner corner nicely match them all together I'm not gonna be hurry here because I don't wanna ruin it. I do have here this tab, uh, which is supposed to be here in this last pocket. I forgot to place it there, so I can place it there now. Should be this way, or I can place it also this way. Oh, I like that color in there actually. Yeah, like this. And I'm gonna place the glue here. And fold it over. Now I do have these two witches. Before I will have a chance to glue this down and that um, picture inside, I can use this one and make it like a, a little bit raised up the image. I'm gonna take foam double-sided tape like this and I can glue her on the top of that bottom image so it will be popped up it will make you know dimension now I can start to try uh, first movements I will probably have to you know help to that uh, this one yeah I will have to because I think my glue just leaked a little bit so first movement I will need to help to that movement yeah kind of hold it and move it hold it and move it so that's what I said when you will make these uh, slots uh, make them nice not too big but also not too small and I think I'm there see here it, it will be better if you will have some heavier cardstock something like this it will hold much much better I should reinforce that image Maybe if I will have there my little witch, maybe it will go better. So I can lay down like this. I'm gonna grab my glue, put the glue on these two hinges here and here, and place there the witch. And I'm gonna let this dry. And this is the final result. Uh, I used corner punch on this corner to make these corners kind of like matching. Uh, I also 
made a hole in the pumpkin and I used a safety pin just to hang it up. Oh, yeah, and I put one eyelet here in the corner and I used safety pin to hang it there. So now my invitation is decorated. As you can see, it looks really beautiful all together. So I do have the pocket in there. There can be uh, stuck so many things, even uh, chocolate can uh, can be put inside. So it's quite big, nice big pocket. And uh, hopefully, <laughs> I'm so I'm so excited of this card. So look at her. Yeah, yeah. I need to hold it better, right? Here. But look at her. I need to tell you, uh, I made this movement for about 50 times already. I had to make it work. I also placed that reinforcement here. That's what I said, I think, uh, right from the start. So, because uh, of my paper, that paper, it's not strong enough. It's kind of like flimsy. But if you will have nice cardstock, I'm guessing, hopefully, you will don't have to reinforce anything. But after moving, uh, you know, to the left and right few times that movement goes better and better the paper will sit down and will understand what you want from it and you will have this cute little card with the pocket inside uh, pocket in the background where the witch is stealing the moon so that's all my sharing for today i hope that tutorial was understandable and i hope that you did enjoy it Thank you so much to all of you for jumping in today and spending your time with me. I know not everybody are celebrating uh, Halloween, so I'm sorry that this is not for everyone. But maybe you are making some, uh, not Halloween related, but maybe you are making some uh, witch and witchcraft uh, journal. And this doesn't have to be for Halloween. I know I do have there uh, uh, Halloween awards here and i do have that invitation but you don't have to use it right so maybe you, you want to use just the, the witch that movement so i hope you enjoyed my video i hope you are enjoying the look of this card i'm really proud of myself i know maybe it will sound wrong but i'm so proud of myself it took me a few days to figure it out what i want and to actually put it together so i'm sorry but i am proud of myself <laughs> So thank you so so much for jumping in today. Thanks right now to everyone who will support me with buying my stuff. It's a huge help guys really. Right now it's so huge help. So thank you so so much to everyone. Have a wonderful day. Uh, all links will be down below. Sorry. All links, <laughs> links will be down below. Uh, if you like this video and if you think that some of your friends will like it. Please share the link for my channel for this video with your friends, uh, with your family. It will be huge help and I will appreciate that very much. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and I will come back soon. Bye.